Hey, it's me. Come on, I know you're in there. Open up. <sighs> Don't just ignore me. Come on. I'm guessing you're in a bad mood, and I don't really know why, but if you don't open up about it, it's never going to get better. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to have to do this, but... If you didn't want me breaking in, you shouldn't have given me a key. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Okay, drama queen. Do you want to tell me what's wrong? Everything. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to be a little more specific than that. Michaela? Yeah, I know her. What about her? Oh. So when you said you wanted to get to know her better, that's what you meant? I mean, yeah, that's on me for not reading between the lines. Fair enough. So, you asked her out and she said no? Hmm. When did you ask her out? Yeah, I figured. Hey, I'm sorry. I know rejection is hard to deal with. But after this many weeks... I feel like you should have gotten over it by now. What's really going on with you? Okay, yeah, that, that was a little harsh. I'm, I'm not saying you have to get over her right away. It's just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like for getting turned down for a date, it shouldn't affect you this strongly. Did you really like her that much? It's not just her. Oh, I see. Well, now that you say it, I... Uh, it does seem like every person you ask out, they turn you down. Did I notice before? Well, no, not really, but... What? I don't think it really has anything to do with whether or not they're out of your league. It's just... No, don't, don't say that. It's, it's not because you're unlikable. I swear. Listen, I've been friends with you for years. I think I can attest to your likability. It's just a run of bad luck. That's all. Yeah, I, I guess that is easy for me to say when I'm not getting rejected left and right. Oh no. You're keeping a tally? Listen, I know this is taking a toll on you, but that's really not healthy. Yeah, seven rejections in a row is... is pretty bad, but I don't want you to get disheartened by this. I know that the perfect person for you is out there, and you'll find them. Okay, maybe that is some generic advice, but... Would you rather I say something like, you'll be alone forever and no one will ever love you? No, that is not the more honest thing to say. I hate it when you get down on yourself like this. Hmm? What do you mean it's easy for me? Hey, I've been in your shoes before. I've been rejected, I've had self-confidence issues. I never really talked about them, because, well, I don't like to talk about my problems. And neither do you, really, unless I force you to. I've gone through this sort of thing before, and I know it's only going to get worse if you lock yourself away and refuse to talk about it, because that's how it was for me. I know, it hurts, and you don't have to tell me everything, but I think we should hang out. Being cooped up like this isn't good for you. Yeah, let's go out. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Let's just go to dinner, 
get you out in the world. Hey, you know, eventually you will find someone and you're going to forget all about this, okay? All right, I'll stop. Now, go get dressed. I improv this whole thing and it's sounding really good to me in the moment. But I have a feeling when I go back and edit it, I'll just be like, ooh, this is not good. <laughs>